Okay, we have another integral here today from MIT Integration B 2013. This was problem six. We have the integral from zero to six of x plus x minus three to the seventh plus sine x minus three dx. Okay, and right off the bat, the thing I noticed first is that this term and this term are exactly the same. And also the fact that we would actually kind of rather this be one variable, particularly here on the sine. I mean, we could do like the angle, um, angle difference formula. But I think this is going to clean up a lot if we just do a u substitution. So let's just do that and see how it goes. So I'm going to make my u equal to x minus 3. Since we have x right here, let's find our x value. So just adding a 3 on both sides, we're going to have x equals u plus 3. And then we can see, taking the derivative, that means dx is going to be the same thing as du. And then let's make the substitution. So we'll plug a 6 in here, and we're going to have a 3 on top. And then we'll plug a 0 in, and we'll have a minus 3. Interesting, right? Then for x, we'll have our u plus 3. Then for this term, we're going to have, this is just going to be u to the 7th plus sine of u du. And then from here, we know how to integrate each of these things, right? We could just use power rule. We could, integral of sine is going to be minus cosine u. Uh, so we could do it that way. But I think there's one little shortcut that we could use that's going to make it a little quicker. So let's see that. Okay, so what I've done here is I've broken this into two integrals, and you might be wondering, well, what made you break it this way? Now you notice the functions on the left side, each of these three things that we're adding, these are each odd functions, and we have this symmetrical bound. And here, three or any number is actually just an even function. So I'm actually just separating out our odd functions from our even functions. Then why did I do that? Well, we have a special property that we can use. What I wanna do is use this property of odd functions over here on the right. So if our bounds are symmetrical, right, we have a positive and negative of the same value, and f of x is odd, then the integral is going to be zero. And then one thing to notice, okay, so all three of these are odd. We could split them up and do each of them separately, but the addition of odd functions is also an odd function. So however you do that, and, and one thing on these, so sine is a known odd function, but also these have an odd, we could look at this a one. So when you have an odd power like that, that's an odd function. So because all this on the left is odd, this whole piece is going to zero, and all we have to do is integrate three. Then to finish this off, we're gonna integrate three, and we're just gonna get three u evaluated from three to minus three. And this is gonna be, three times three is nine minus, then we'll plug in a minus three and we get a minus nine. That's gonna change the sign to plus, and our answer is gonna be 18. That's it, thought it was a pretty quick and fun problem. So thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.